They try to mix it with the high rollers, but in the final reckoning, Portsmouth have sunk in a sea of debt. Here on the south coast, this had already been a season of trauma. Owners came and went, paydays were delayed, TV money was withheld, and prize assets were sold. Results weren't much better, and relegation loomed. But then, it got even worse. With a winding up order due in the High Court next week, the club faced extinction. Owner number four of the season, Balram Chanrai, confirmed that without new investment, Portsmouth would become the first Premier League club to enter administration. But there was no new owner, and time ran out. At approximately 10.30 this morning, my partners and I were appoint, appointed joint administrators to the company and the football club. The situation was, this could have been liquidated, there's no doubt about that. It still could. The difference now is that it will probably be okay. From where they've been the last month or so, looking at it, I'm sure they're quite pleased that, you know, they'd be quite happy to take administration rather than going out of business. This isn't a new phenomenon in, 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 in world football. I mean, Italian football two or three years ago went into complete and utter financial meltdown. Portsmouth are now doomed to relegation, but ultimately their failings were not on the pitch, but here in the boardroom. In an environment where we're always looking to blame someone else, I think there isn't anyone else to blame but the football club and the people who run it. And, and unfortunately, uh, that's why we're, we're in the position we are, because you know, clearly things haven't been done properly. The players that are there, I don't think any of this is their fault. They've been, they've worked you know, very hard uh, to try and get them out of this situation. We had a great record in the transfer market, made fortunes, you know, £60 million. Pounds. There's still players there even now that are, came in for next to nothing that they can sell. It's just where the money's gone in the last 18 months. So there's no one, no one can get to the bottom. That's the problem. Tensions are running high. Peter Storey feeling the full force of this fan's anger as he arrived at Fratton Park. Later, the club's chief executive confirmed that he would quit once a new owner took charge. But that's of little consolation to the supporters. How bad does it feel to be in this position? Sick. Just my words. Total sickness. Betrayed. The whole season. It's a premiership club. Premiership, you know? And uh, it's, I'm so disappointed. I really am. Upset, really, seeing the club going to administration. And ultimately, I think that's us down. So with debts estimated at around £70 million, what does the future hold? It's going to be a very difficult road ahead. But my target is to address the cash flow in the club and to prepare itself unfortunately for possibly life in the championship next year. I would have to sell one or two players um, with the help of the Premier League and there are other areas that I can generate some cash, cash flow streams. I think it's a great asset, an opportunity now to to get that club back on a, on a proper footing and, uh, and working within the realms of um, the real world. There's no doubt that if, if they can see through this period and, and, and come to some agreements with the creditors and yes, this club can once again, as I say, be a force within football. Oh, we've moved.